It has been six weeks since the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers began releasing water from Lake Okeechobee. Since releases have began, the lake has only dropped one foot, down to 15.3 feet. Jacksonville District Colonel James Booth spoke to the media on Friday in front of the St. Lucie Lock and Dam. He acknowledged that while these releases have been successful from a flood management perspective, they have been damaging to both the St. Lucie and Caloosahatchee estuaries. He says the goal of the next two weeks is to allow those estuaries to stabilize. It allow the, uh, the um, ecological uh, conditions to, to improve, uh, particularly the salinity levels for improved oyster spat as, as we move into that, in that, into that period, uh, but also allow the estuaries to kind of flush out any of the, the nutrients and the water that we're releasing uh, out the tide and hopefully reduce some of the risk from, harm, from algal bloom. Uh, and as we go into that high blue season. Over the next week, the Army Corps intends to establish a plan for releases after this two-week pause. Colonel Booth says he would like to get the lake down another foot by June 1st, the start of rainy season. Colonel Booth says his team is already thinking to head to what could be an active hurricane season, given the switch to a La Nina over the next coming months, and what that would mean given the high lake stage we are currently at. In studio, meteorologist Andrew Shipley, Fox 4.